everybody. Today I'm going to be doing some uh, Valentine's ornaments for my tree. Um, so I bought these from the Dollarama. There's the label. Foam heart stickers. It was only three bucks. And you get a whole bag full. I transferred it to a Ziploc. So whatever's left I can store. And so I've picked out four pink and four light pink, four dark pink. And so the first thing I'm going to do, like they, they have the peel off on the back. So what I'm going to do first is I'm taking some embroidery floss, cotton floss, and I am wrapping it around a six inch ruler. This is six inches, which will be long enough. So then you just wrap it, I don't know, a bunch of times. I guess you could count if you want, but each one, like there is this side and this side. So you have double the, the string. And then when you have as many as you want, you take a scissor and you cut them. Um, I'm not going to cut it right now because I already did it, but that's what I did. I don't think I need more. And then you end up with all these little six inch strings. And then what I did, I took two the same. You peel off the back. And then I took the string, folded in half but make sure that they're the same length, pretty much. So then you just put it in here, but as far down, like giving a little bit of room, but as far down as you can, and you the top part has to be in the, in the V part, in the back part. So you just estimate it, and you stick it on, and then you put the other one on top. You try and align it, whoa, whoa, whoa. That wasn't good. You try and align it. Push down on it. And there you go. You got your Valentine ornament. Now, if you wanted to, I guess you could put like a bead there, or you could make it longer and then put a bead down here and then put a knot. Um, but I just thought just plain like that. So I'll do another one in pink, the light pink. You just need, the reason why I did six inches, because you just need a little loop here so you can get it on the tree branches. Um, if you're using it for something else, then you don't need to, right? You don't need it that long. You could go maybe five inch. All depends on what you want to use it for. I'm using it for my tree. Oh, 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 that's a little bit. Oh, well, let's hope it covers up. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, see a little spot. See, and it's not going to be absolutely perfect on top. I think I was more concerned about that and kind of, but you get the point. And then if you really want it to, I was thinking maybe you can even do like this, loop them together. And then hang them like that even, right? If you have a bunch of them and you loop them together and hang it on the wall, that might be a look you want to go for but I just like them for my tree plain and simple and I will show you my tree uh, and I'll put these two on the tree so here's my tree um, I keep it out year-round now I decided it was more fun and uh, yeah so these are the ones I have made. I'll bring you in closer. So these were the ones we just made. And with the loop, you can just hang it up on the tree. And 
And there you go. Let's put that one there. And then these were from Christmas, the napkin rings. It's red. I just hung it up. And then this is from Christmas. This one was, it was my, um, I guess, kind of like folk art. Boho? Boho, I guess. And, um, yeah, so I decided to leave it. It's the colors of Christmas. And even your red ornaments, um, maybe even your silver, you could just keep them on year-round. This, These three are my favorite from Christmas. And I decided it's red and white. Why not? Can you see them? There we go. Um, they're red and white, so why not leave them for Valentine's Day? Um, and then this is a, can you see this one, the chapel? It's a card holder for when you get Christmas cards. You stick them in that way or that way, whatever. And I thought, well, you know, the chapel of love. So I put the love sign in front of it. And then these the three little boxes I also got from the dollar store. And I'm going to put in them, like, these three will have the cinnamon hearts. And then these three will have the sweet hearts. And then this is a game I picked up a few years ago. Can you see that? And what you do is it has Velcro on it and you throw it. And where it, where it lands, that's what you and your sweetheart has to do. And no, it's not all PG. And then if you look up, way up, that cherub my mom had, um, she's now in a nursing home, so um, she, yeah. Anyways, um, so I put the cherub there, and then I got the sweetheart banner from Amazon. I, it wasn't much, maybe ten dollars, eleven dollars. Um, I'll I'll look it up and link it below. Um, but yeah, and then this was another year I had bought from the dollar store. So if I zoom out, there we go. This thing is stiff, this tripod. There we go. Everything. Is there. And that's the, pretty much the only decoration I do. Um, I may put a, a, something like Christmas I have at the front door on the outside a, a garland, a wreath. Um, and then I have some hooks here on the side. I'll show you them. There. So the one here says love and you've got the bells and then over there I've got a heart and then the two white ones here and the two white ones there are actually part of my Christmas decoration but it's red and white why not leave it up a little longer I love the snowflake and the tree and so that concludes this video um, I'm gonna be doing some more Valentine's decorations craft and uh, I hope you enjoyed this and you got something out of it. And please like and comment. And um, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.